cultures from all over that have landed on our shores. I'm taking a trip through Brit's kitchen to find the rich people the country have. Familiar home cook may seem to be foreign. Well, it is a bit of a mystery yeah. as okay. well. But their dishes are often close relatives to those I know and love. You know what it's not my great. Oh. Yeah. For me, it's about more than behind our thought or story or an insight into a culture that has travelled far to get here. This is formation to the Thank you for city aliens home meat. Use something for them. A celebration of what makes us different, but also together. Soup makes us feel that all is right with the world. Sprit everyone favourites, whether it's click or cold, or with or I meet home cooker recipes they love. I want to make one of my favourite comfort foods. Pea soup. Love it. They actually take to cook. So come up with a version. It's a frat time. I'm gonna start with some stock. I'm using chicken, but you could use vegetable. That to the boil. And the pea and so long. Peas and they take to cook. I'm frozen. Just talking about trimming the time for making this soup. I'm talking about giving it a whole new life. Temporary flavour, fresh and bright and mild. Traditional ham soup. Use bay leaves, at least stalks. Because it's lighter, I want something in tarragon with its lovely aniseed note. And just a little salt. That blender, food processor, or those stick blenders. Now this soup's got a lovely bright smell. It's reef. I'm with some tech. It's quite a thick. Some soups that make you feel good, they make you feel well just by looking at them. This is what pea and ham. It will be. I've got very thin pancetta. As thin as you can get it, you can almost see through it. Flame on. In the, it is done in sec. Sizzle. Pea and I find pea and ham soup so comforting. Partly because pea familiar. Taste of of people, home and somewhere far away. I've come to Bristol to meet someone whose soup speaks of sun-soaked Caribbeans. Oh, hello. How are you? My part of a Jamaican in Bristol. I wanted to what that mean. And wow. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Well, it is beautiful. Yeah. But yeah. a bit of a yeah. mystery is. Well, these are mixtures from the. So yeah. you've got Tosha, your dad. Come on, what, what you uh, These are just here. Really good, apparently, I'm told. And, and it, it looks like an apple, doesn't it? Like it does a, a bit. Yeah, yeah. And then this vegetable, I switch between like a vision and an apple. I know. We peel I'm it, sorry. slice, boil it, and that's just because it's... I don't know, I could probably get four of those. You know what these are? <laughs> yeah, I like, yeah. Yeah, like maybe four or five of you got um, you know, different yam, white yam. It's with you. Yeah, I don't know what to yeah. do with them. You can fry it, you can boil it, you can bake it. Who's saying bolt on these? Well. It's a tea is power, and you know, there's a famous sexual problem. Yams, yams. I'm telling you, like, don't come on, I told you that. I'm afraid you just have. <laughs> I just have, haven't I? <laughs> when my parents came to Ing 60s, they struggled to finding familiar to them. So what do we need? Yeah. But I've seen the doctor fish there, and I'm, I'm in two minds because my mum recommended doctor fish. But as chickens are on, so did their and mum was a hooker for making club fries. A two just a chicken soup yeah. and a fish tea, and it's it's like a comfort thing, really. Yeah. Here to choose uh, fish dish and to make me fish you back to when you were a child. Stop it! It's no, no, no. <laughs> skin. Miles' is is full of of flavour, but like me, relatively quick. We start in the filling and stopped over with thyme in salted water. The fillets are rubbed with plenty of peppery seasoning, lemon juice. Well, you leave well time we cut the balls and let them boil. 15 minutes. Ready. And then the Miles's parents met in England after his father was posted here with the British Army and his mum came to nursing. They sent a small market of Trowbridge, a from the main Saint Caribbean culture. In. When obviously the British government invited them over, yes. you, you know the story. There was the need after yes. to rebuild it and sold it to on the premise yourself, inspire. Parents they were they were the middle class of Jamaica, but it wasn't like what it was promised, and it ended up all four jobs. Maps. Parents, you know, sold. I would have the only guy in the class, the only oh, really? black guy at college, the only black guy at work, and it was a, a real fight. You know, my brother, we always a little ways, but I thought our constant attack on the defense. Now, I wouldn't have dreamed grown up because it's the, 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 the components for life and surviving life. Miles is a common second in Brit, while in the country of Brish the Thing, beak of their soup we're making is a perfect example of that. We've got fish. Yeah, hopefully ready to come. And then go. Yeah. We'll be vegetables. We've got the banana, spring onion, and we've got 
Then we've got Scotch Bonnie Pepper. Yes. Green one. These seeds here are really totally up and busy and then uh, we'll never gaze. <laughs> yeah, you have a twinkle. <laughs> we don't like that too. <laughs> Our coarsely chopped veg goes into the stock to be lightly boiled with big thyme. We put in Philip Bonnet. Strut fragrance, he says, but for my soul. Much going on in here. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Just that hint of something. Well, that, that good home, that, that's home. That's that, that's uh, an eat uh, day at floor, a hard day at age, or it's a memory road bridge back to Wiltshire and that, that Jamaican house we grew up in, which is it's beautiful. Oh, beautiful colour. Can I just say that smells oh, absolutely yeah. fantastic? Yeah, no, that's what one. That's nice. That's all right. It sounds as a bride. No, I was waiting for you. Is that too? Fish tistic simplicity. Like my pea soup, it feels substantial and rewarding. But hearty soups always have to be warm. The sp have a soup for hot that leaves your buds tingling. It's chilled, has all the freshness of a salad, and it's gazpacho. Put tomatoes, cumber, peppers, some garlic into a handful of stale bread. Whiz to a rough and rustic consistency, the gluggable seasoning, and a healthy dish of sha to give it a burnt bite. And a weird gorgeous bowl of gazpacho you can garnish with some of the same finely chopped. And discover soup is a personality just of the people that of the cunt. And there's a soup in particular that is so much part of one country, comes with all every meal. To do some meaning, teach me how my friends in the hot. Mise soup is a central part of Japanese cuisine. It's something I've heard Miko cook perfection and having been for instance, it will be whether so own and accompaniment. Because this is the I, uh, that I love, but I, up until about four years ago, five mm -hmm. years ago, I had n had it. You haven't? Up until four, I never had it. Oh. And then, exactly, and one trip to Japan, I realised almost with every meal. I mean, yes, I had it for always, breakfast, yeah. every single meal. People eat a lot of miso. Like oops, this is the stop. This one's she made by flavouring hot Japanese before adding katsubushi, flakes of dried fish. Beautiful. It should be and be in the base ingredient of Japanese food, yeah. and it should harmonise with other seasoning. Is miso? What about miso, because I know some find miso a little of a strange ingredient. Not quite sure what it is. Uh, miso. It's fermented, isn't it? Fermented. In many regions, they got different miso. For example, Kyoto like to use white miso. In Toho, some part of Korea, they put dark miso. Uh, actually, regions, regional region, variations. Yeah, different. It's varied region to region. And my family we prefer mixing white, dark. There's famines from Kal near Tokyo, where they ran a green tea shop. She was brought up surrounded by traditional Japanese. When I was small in Japan, I woke up with my alarm clock. Mum was preparing miso soup. It's a nicer alarm than mine. <laughs> now that So has her own family, she can to cook all dishes so soup pass on. Drain before adding the miso paste through a sieve. We always use the net. Oh. Otherwise, the... Uh, how can I this? The lumps? lumps yeah. will remain. You know what's... Is the clouds. If you have a look, oh, yes. it's almost like clouds. Indeed. Add all sorts of things, so soup, but just chosen soft toast, steam spinach. The care she's taken speaks volume the respect the jab. Oh, look, they're perfect. <laughs> Into our soup. Yes. I've never seen a Japanese cook didn't take exquisite single detail. <laughs> it's like, it's a, it, it's a total thought process mm. about a single, that very beautiful. As to what he involved. Oh, yes. Yeah. Grooming thing. No, it is. It's a wonderful thing. Great. So, is there anything else you want to add to that? Uh, let's taste. Okay. Then decide. Beautiful. I'd like to add a tiny amount of mirin to make it more uh, round. Taste is quite so. It helps to taste around. When did you start? I don't know. Have you always cooked? <laughs> I really don't know. Mm. As mommy ran tea shop, my mum was a uh, Sunday, so we got to it all cooked together. Uh, I think just since I was small, perhaps. It's good. I love cooking. You cook every... I... Oh, I see what you mean by rounded. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you this mean. Is right. mm. This is a Japanese mum. It's been wonderful experience the almost religious care the Japanese take with this soup. But there's a nurture in this food does have just six.
The duity is for putting centre of their religious festivals, and in doing so, have come up with possibly the most like soup. Jewish chip is an all magical peeling and meeting is all about Regina. Hello. 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 This is my daughter. Seven years. Regina making what a Jewish pen for her life. My taught me chicken was eight. Eight. Years. And don't tell grandma you're making soup. <laughs> yeah, too dangerous. My mother is a magnificent there oh, is mother. There is no mother bake. One of those that need a recipe. Well, she kind of knows what to do. My mother never knew what recipes were. And I used to say to my how do you make them? Write it down. So write it down and say, yeah. it's now going to come out like you get mum. What should I do? You have to come on. I'm obviously not going to get the recipe out of Regina easily. So, one thing for I've come in li to how it's cheap. The chicken. I do. You know where the skin is hard? Yes. Get that it. off, it'll come off in the hot water. Yep. So you get up yep. and you go in the pan on it. You want to fill them to four, six. Need more. Uh, two onions. Cut off the heads and the little tails, as you well know. Want to take this. Bits. No. Next, you eat potatoes. Uh, you would carrots. They dissolve in the soup. I didn't know you ever put sweet potatoes sweet pot in soup. I'm like an spotting. When you go, you'll say the pain in the. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Hello? Oh, this daughter, she wants us going. Would you like. <laughs> Nigel? To. Hello, Nigel here. Oh, we're having a wonderful. I can't tell you how long, so I've only been here a few. Oh, you're kidding me. She certainly is. She's right, I'll pass you back to her. What's that? Trim that, Nigel, and cut them in pieces. Off because they're no. and he's making soup now. My recipe. All right, love. Yeah. Bye, Linda. <laughs> so, where it's a sweet potato leek salad, a of beef stock cube. Top that. Froth, salt and pepper, then make them like that it's doing a bubble all the time and forget about it. Keeps giving it a stir. Here we are. All vegetables, mostly like Miles' is he. Day that way because the sea soup, credible. And Eat the vegetables. I throw the vegetables away and the chicken afterwards because what good is it? Boiling for us. I'm going Soups, it's str and chill, and the fat at the top, leaving it almost crystal clear. Just yes, you so know, quality. Look like a jelly. It is. Lots of jelly. For goodness. 87. No wonder Regina's proud of her soup. It's clearly her good. Finally, I'm a taste. It's bad, isn't it? Yeah. No, that. that is Thank you. That Thank you. is absolutely. Thank you. You know, when people say, real, you need to. That's chicken soup, what? Chicken soup to oh. It doesn't... It go a long way towards it. Are Do you it... enjoying it, truthfully? I'm treating it. It's gold. Words from you mean a lot. Chicken soup always has pride of place at family gatherings. Friday nights mark the, the Sabbath, the tradition of baton that includes Jewish favourite gefilte, dumboached in a broth on a very... It's bubbling now, isn't it? Yes, yeah, just very, very slightly. That's great. That good. Awful lot of work in making these meals. And food's a key to the religious experience. It has to be right. I knew there'd be a great fuss over claret in soup. And I knew that the gefilte fish would have to very, very gently break up. But it's not the recipe being so unusual. There's a reason behind it. Which is something that's probably missing from my cooking. So it's, it's an opportunity that I'm very, very grateful for. So a few bad beans, a little bit of vermicelli. And this soup. This amazing, awesome, wonderful, gorgeous soup. It's a very, very important part. It's actually, for me, it's the reason I came. I just see it to finish. You know, I was going to do it to finish. All of the soups I've encountered have of person. They've been butted, buffal, and no. They've also made a deal with how to make them. Well, I want to do something which was draw ideas. She heart more. This will be the sis in a friend chair. There is. I want every element of this beef and butternut squash soup to ooze generosity. We admire that cloth. Be so broad. I want to keep an element of that clarity, but by using this dry me mushroom in hot, I'm aiming much ancient. Colour. It's juice. And that is the hot. Are the heroes of my soup.
It's a cut of beef that is so rarely used, and yet it's just, it's just fabulous. Beef cheeks. A little bit of salt and pepper on the outside of the beef, then brown it all over. Beef cheek. Great piece of meat. It needs a slow oven and some liquid to cook. And that liquid can be it can be water, in cider, whatever you fancy. But I'm using the mushroom broth. Now, a veg in and a butter wash. I like the way to use generous chunks of vegetable. They soaked up all the broth, all the flavours. Now as well as an onion, it'll give a sweetness to onion is we see caramelized around the edges. It's time to add the stock. So there's mush been worked hard. A real going full of flavour soup. And bring that to the boil. Turn the heat down and leave it just to pay quietly for a couple of hours. Check the soup every now and again. And if it looks as if it needs topping up, then a little water. And spot by Regina's noodles, ones that went into our chickens. I'm putting in some favourite pasta. I can put in as much as I like, and there's no one there to tell me I'm doing it wrong. Guests are coming. Promise them soup there. I'm going to just ladle the terrine. I'm going to serve it in this. The idea being that the soup will sift a blade and it's going to slowly as we eat. The juice will soak into the bread, and then we can tear it all to. We've got bits of loaf saturated with this stock. You know, you do never quite sure or not, not just this. And the fact that I've really many people I've, and I'm bringing them together over a bowl of soup. But this is quite me, actually. True, truly, it's different people. They'll get up. People do, especially when they share food. So I've learned about from all over the Thank Miko's reverend. Mild making eats. Regina Hashed. That's so, my share, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit big, isn't it? It's all right. <laughs> You're a big boy. <laughs> well, this is my recipe. It's their. Everybody's put to this. This is for them. Soup can be a healer, a revival, foot, but my. You. Oh, what's that? On the table. Oh, oh wow. what? Wow. That? Well, I was so inspired by soups. I've got a lit of an eye. All of you. And all of you. Nice. <laughs> I love what the bread is the. Uh, yeah. Mm. It's, like, it's like doing it the other time, dipping the soup. Give you soup. <laughs> <laughs>